spring in New York, Fashion Week, a must for editors of women's magazines with an eye for style. Glenda Bailey from Derby has edited Marie Claire since its launch six years ago. It's now got 400,000 readers, the sort to expect her to keep up with star designers like Calvin Klein. Oh, I nice to see so you. enjoyed the show. It was wonderful. Oh, thanks for really hanging out this long. Oh, that's quite all right. You're worth it, as you know. You know. I have to tell you something. My assistant's best friend came to see you for a job, and she got the job, and she was so excited. We had all these calls from New York saying, Calvin's <laughs> fabulous, Calvin's fabulous. It was just so wonderful. And it was all this sort of big build-up in the office was what she should wear, what she should take. And I, I said, because when we had dinner together in London, I said, now, look, it's perfectly all right. Tell her, Alison. That Calvin is absolutely wonderful to talk to and he'll make a feel at her ease. Right. And she said that it was just the most wonderful interview ever because she was just made to feel at home. And now, of course, she can't wait to leave Britain to come over to America. Oh, oh. Thank you. It's just that like all my friends seem to end up working with you at some point or other. Well, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. We're coming international. Oh, soon. That's what <laughs> Marie Claire's now one of the top monthly glosses for mature career women with money to spend. Women like Glenda Bailey. When we first met, this is confession time, I was wearing a, a linen dress, I can remember reminding you, and I, it was because I was so ashamed of having white pasty legs, I'd rushed out and bought some support stockings. And as I entered, as I walked towards your office, I could feel, to my complete horror, this pull of gravity. And to this day, I still don't know if you realise that I met you looking like Nora Batty. It's sort of, it's very unchic look. And I can remember just saying, we're, hello, we're how working. did you, could you? Exactly. We're in the biz. Exactly. We're working trying to make other people look perfect. Yeah. Well, you're so good at making everybody feel confident in the clothes, and that's Thank what it's all about. And even I, feeling very awkward at that time, felt very confident, Thank especially you. when I'd run to the loo and reorganise myself. <laughs> Back in London at Murray Clare's office, Bailey's staff are preparing ads and stories for as far ahead as Christmas. We're just giving you a quick ring on Dorothy Perkins, because we were looking, if you remember, at either June or July issues, and I'd made an offer on both issues based on rate, and you were going to come back to me. Definitely not. Right, and is that, is that because of the rate? Can you just confirm for me what the products are going to be for Chanel in July? Yeah? Oh, good. Hi, Anna Hilda, it's Paula from Marie Claire. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm just fine. Can I just run through a few things about our trip? Mm hmm Firstly, the reindeer. Mm hmm Um, is there going to be a rain herder with them? Yes. They will. In, can she wear national costume? Yes, she, she always. She yes. does? Yes. Right. I know we're just organising the trip. Yeah. We're going off to Norway. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're hoping for some reindeer and lots of wonderful oh, snow. And wouldn't that be beautiful? This is going to be fantastic, isn't it? We can get samples. At Ralph Lauren's show in New York, Bailey has spotted some designs that are absolutely right for her readers. If I, yes, exactly. If I could order some, because there's some that I definitely want. Definitely. And definitely want, and there's also cover possibilities as well. Oh, well that so would that, be would, that would be great if we Which could Which bits did you feel most strongly about? In well, of course, it fits into, so many things fits into our stories. Of course, we've got to shoot one with a wonderful tartan. The mohairs were so beautiful. The tartan was I thought they were great. And then, of course, of course, I adore the end with the tulips, the velvets. Yeah. When it's trying to find a way oh, that you could make it. I can imagine. Mail. It was so beautifully it's made as well. It was beautiful, I know. And everything was so well put together. Yeah. I so love the it shoes. Works. I mean, it sort of shows how much Absolutely. he admires the, the Absolutely. British style. And that's, of course, how the British women want to dress. Absolutely. Oh. Hi, 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 How do you do? Pleased to meet you. I must say, collections like this make our lives so much more easier. Yeah. <laughs> because there I am creating all these wonderful ideas. And then to actually see the girls come down the catwalk and look so beautiful. And look so confident and close that every woman really would desire. Hello, hello, Ralph. The show was so beautiful. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, my hand aches. I was drawing so much. I've just been saying to Anna, there's so many wonderful pieces that we want to shoot. Really, really enjoyed it. It was just great. Look forward to see you later. Hi, Karen. I just spoke to Dan on that. 
and it's not happening in June. Right, okay. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it in July. Yeah. Um, which means that we will have availability for. Well, I think maybe I go. One. I'll tie. I'll get multi bits tied up this afternoon. Yeah. A Murray Clare assignment for writer John McCarthy. Once a hostage in Beirut, he's writing a piece on torture victims and the London organisation that cancels them. Murray Clare prides itself on its mix of high fashion and high seriousness. What does strike me with so many of your clients here is, is that sense that whilst they are victims and have been horribly abused, they have somehow within them an extraordinary power to survive. Um, you are in an equal relationship with your client, that your client is somebody who has survived remarkably. And I don't have to tell you that there is, I don't have to tell you, that there is something inside many people, something that the torturer, the jailer, the, the violator can't quite get to can't quite get to. That must have been a very hard decision yes. because, because obviously you had to make it yeah. against his will. He suffered he, a yeah. lot also. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this woman's yeah. husband was a political prisoner in Somalia. Six years. Is it really, you can imagine, you have yeah. been, John, you yeah, have been there. Yeah, a little bit in solitary, so I, yes. can really, well, yeah. I can only begin to imagine what that yeah. was like. My husband told me that he has never seen somebody, even, even the staff, you know, they used to uh, send the food from a window. Donna Karen's New York show, Glenda Bailey is about to make her entry on behalf of Murray Clare. It's a long way from Derby. Oh, what a wonderful show. Well done. Nice I'm to just see you. Like this side. Thank We're you. so glad to have you here. Oh, well, thank you. It's After so the millions to be of faxes here. Back I know, I know. I do like organisation. <laughs> Donna, hi. How are you? It's good you to see you. You tell me how I am. I know, I know, I know. It always happens. Well, listen, I feel great after that show. It's just the best thing to make you feel great. It was oh, such a success. So good to see you. I loved it. How come every single season I look at your show and I think, I need a new wardrobe, I want everything. Oh, I love I that. Like, uh, it's just the one time when I'm just thinking, I want it, I want it, I want it. And then I'm here like saying, I want this for this session and this for that session. And already we've had to put in an order because we're shooting on Saturday oh my and God. it's like we need this and we need this so as always you have to sort of like organize at the oh, last thank minute you so, much. so good to see you tell me a bit about the I'm coming to London when I'm leaving uh, Tuesday so wait, are you gonna be there I am so okay maybe get together? Get, I'm only gonna be there for a day right but maybe you could fit me in I'd you love to present? 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 oh that is just beautiful. Isn't that so incredible that I interviewed is... him Oh, that was really lovely. That's wonderful. So you're coming on Tuesday? Tuesday, I think so. Yeah. So yeah, Tuesday. you can get some sure. I would love to. That. That'd be fun. I'm coming for a day and then I'm, I'm leaving for Morocco and then I'm coming back to London. So in between, in between the two, that exactly, would be great. we'll get to see each other. I'd love to see you. So would I. Yeah, that would be great. Be well, so I look forward fun. to it. Thank, Thank you. you. Good. See you soon. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I look forward to London. Thank you. Right. Bye. 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 <laughs> Your mum is so clever. <laughs> Dorothy Perkins could be June or July. That's still up on the cards. And VW. Again, we're going to have a problem here with rate. Um, he is not entertaining. Any In London, a little local difficulty with advertisers. Murray Clare, now with more display ads than Vogue, have just put their rates up. I think what we, what we were saying yesterday, we're going to just have to yeah. put the meeting in go in with the proposal and do it face to face because we just aren't making any he said, I mean, the, at all the, the on this thing basis. I don't sort of understand which I'd like to clarify with Mark on this is he's saying they want a presence within women's press um, but it's not it's not so important mm. um, they always say that though I know yeah it's the old stock and stock and what trade was it, line, on his isn't it? quote they're, they're going they want 
women who think they're men. Mm. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> yes. That's odd. Norway, it's still snowing there now. Oh, Norway. Norway, it's still snowing. Right. Yes. And, yes, there are reindeer. Yes, there's reindeer. Brilliant. Yes. yes. There is some snow Taking there. a break from the catwalk, right. Bailey be. keeps a firm grip on the 35 staff in the office back home. Murray Clare's a multi-award winner from Consumer Magazine of the Year to Best Food Visuals. Its success owes much to Bailey's hands-on approach. You need to sort of consider this quite carefully. OK, we'll fine, fine. That. Or if yeah. you could fax me over that information, that'd be great. Yeah, And sure. thank you for uh, faxing over the cover. Yeah. It looks really, really good. I'm very pleased with it. I love Brilliant. these cover lines. They're great. The only one that I'm concerned about now is, of course, still the horoscope. Yeah. So I wondered um, if you could have a play around with those. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you what we've got. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I really love I love them driving men wild, female truckers. That's brilliant. Yeah. I'm really pleased with that. And um, the, other, uh, the other ones, and I thought the health one worked very well, the yeah, truth about yeah. fat versus thin. Hi. It says Emily. 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 Emily is one of many models inspected each day by the magazine's yeah. fashion staff. No, no, I was just trying to see if you had heels on, because I couldn't quite see if um, I was. No, no. Double-decker buses ones. Yes. And what's, what height are you? Five, five nine. nine. These are very nice. What, who, when did you do these? Um, January. In fact, everything that's in there now is since January. Oh, right, so it's quite recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a keen sense of what is and is not absolutely Marie Claire. I don't think these are really us. So. No, I think this is more us. Mm. You know, they're sort of natural, mm. natural ones. You look as if you've just come back from a trip, have you? Yeah. With a bit of colour. Yeah, mm. I was in Miami. Oh, oh great. Right. Yeah. Nice. Pull your hair back. Great. Covers sell magazines, making sure the Americans get it right, the ever-present Glenda Bailey. Right, Jackie, I've got two options for a really beautiful, bright day glow cover. Um, one is like a wonderful lime mohair sweater, great. which would be great shot on either black or sort of a lime colour. Or there's some beautiful colour transparencies, which you could perhaps shoot again on a day glow bright colour, like a bright lime. Right. See which looks best on the skin and what fits the best and which feels comfortable, because really we're looking for two options. Bridget Hall is a 16-year-old Texan supermodel. The Murray Claire cover is so prestigious, she's doing it for next to nothing. The big money's in advertising. Michael Thompson is the Big Apple's photographer of the moment pursued by Bailey in person till he agreed to do the shoot. OK, so let's see. I think Dick has to still put the lips on. Oh, he's done. He's, he's he? done he it. Did? Yeah, okay. they're done. All right. They're done. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's see. Let's go out, let's all right, go out in the line the and then see. Right. That's the best way. All right. That was a short tape, Mike. I have to have music. <laughs> Right, so we finished this meeting about 3.30. It gives us about 10 minutes to get back to the hotel. Don't forget you've got that fax to do Yeah, this. I've got to sort out the two features, but I'm really pleased because I spoke to Jenny and she's kindly organised with Stacey and the printer so we don't have to send the cover down until Brilliant. Friday until I get back. And she finalised so, the logo colour? Yeah, every, well, I want to wait, you see, because I want to decide when I get back, so okay. gives us opportunity to do that now. Brilliant. So I'm very pleased. Excellent and, uh, meeting as well at lunchtime. I know, Sam, wasn't it good? Mission accomplished. Absolutely. I'm really pleased about that. She only needs it on the left side, I think. Well, what I do usually is just do it's this. It's just do that Yeah, and because you see what, see what, so what I, so now you know that you're not cropping any part of the body, so if I crop into the shoulder, you can't really, yeah, that means you have to add on her shoulder. Here you just extend the gray out wherever you want to go. Okay. Because you don't want to, if you pull back okay. far, then it, Degenerates when you bring them when you when you print it. You know what I mean? It won't be a problem. Okay. I know. Okay. Say, chin up just a little bit. Beautiful. Just this, just so your shoulders come in. Yes. That's nice. Good. I see you, Nikolai. Good. Good. Tilt the head just a little bit. Good. Beautiful. That's very good. Very nice. Good. Well, let's 
move on then. Now, Ford, <coughs> we're going in for this big deal. The London sales staff discussed tactics towards uh, Ford Motor Company, who are planning an ad blitz on upmarket women. Three quarters of Marie Claire's readers are ABC ones. For the probe, we got we yeah. actually got two spreads of advertising, and now we're going to talk to them in more detail about the, mm. the rest of the campaign for okay. the other and um, the other brands. Mm. Right. Glenda Bailey's last New York meeting at Estee Lauder, the world's biggest cosmetics empire. A familiar face here too. She prepares for more kisses. Hello, I'm Glenda Bailey. I've come to see Mrs. Lauder. Oh, Glenda. Ah, I'm hello. How do you do, Welcome. Glenda Bailey? Pleased yes. to meet you. I work with Rebecca McGreevy. Ah, oh, right. Uh, we're all waiting for you. Oh, so thank, thank you. Come back. Thank the you. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that's fabulous. So I was saying, the Lord of Family have more awards than me. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, we're very proud of it. Oh, well deserving. <laughs> So oh, we're going to the dining room. Here. Wonderful. Right. I love this room. So pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the view. It's beautiful. <gasps> Where's Linda? I'm here. Hi! Hi. Linda, it's good to see you. How are you? It's so oh, good. I'm so happy to see you. You look so well. You look well. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. I was hoping that I might be able to show you my new magazine and have a so quick chat. I'm excited. I brought my glasses. Oh, back. great. Oh, Splendid. Wonderful. Um, and look, look how clever of me. I've organised the cover to match your outfit. Oh, look at that. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> this is the chat. <laughs> Didn't oh, it come good. to New York last yes. week? Yes. Well, actually, it's been on sale for a week. So, oh, you see, you're so organised. I've already got beautiful. it. I should have saved myself the visit, but I just so wanted well, to see you back. anyway. Oh, I wanted <laughs> to catch up on your news now. Well, we are reviving Blush and, and brand new formula, which will be launching in the UK, hopefully right after the summer sometime. Time. Right. And it's a formula which is um, with, made with a microcosm of... Uh, of In the corridor, so senior Estee Lauder staff prepare to meet the award-winning editor from England. More like uh, stained glass rather than sitting on top of the skin, you can see skin through it. Oh, I could do with some of that. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Definitely, we all can, especially when it's right. a lab oh, sample. Oh, oh, Thank you, lab very sample much. of Here this are. spectacular new blusher, now, which is really extraordinary. Here we go. Let's put it on yeah. Glenda, and we'll see how. Oh, this is. Oh, you okay, know, all right. I've always wanted this to happen, to be made up by you. By me. I believe this. By well, it's very, this is a dream come true. Very, very light, very gentle, yeah, and very sheer no, and transparent. Yes. And no it demarcations, feels great. no. And with a color like this, in fact, what one does is also put a little on other parts, you know, of the face. The I frequently sun. will put it here yeah. on the forehead, so I look like I've been in the sun a little bit. That's that's a very yeah. good tip. But you see, this is it doesn't look like rouge. It looks like you have. And it's a long mirror, so you can look in there and see. Oh, right, and I you love have the seen a. Yes, I love this long mirror. That's really handy. Well, You've seen a handsome man. I, yes. What I, makes you blush, Glenda? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, having my makeup done by Yay. you, I'm thrilled. It's now. really very effective. Yeah. Thank you. I sometimes feel sorry for the readers as they go into the shops. There's so many products to and choose there's a, from. There's a confusion. Yeah. Because beauty comes from within. Exactly. It comes from a being healthy. It comes from being happy. It comes from having good sleeping habits. It comes from a good diet. It comes from exercise. It comes from um, all good about sorts, of, all good sorts about of places. Yes, and it also yes. comes from Estee Lauder. Yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> you know. As you, and, as you have just seen. Absolutely. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>
Oh, this is very rough, Lauren. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes, exactly. His classics. Very traditional. Really? Now, this sort of thing would yeah. be great for your story yeah. in Norway. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, if you choose this, yeah. so okay. maybe if you could phone Anna, Joe, and yes. call that in for your story, because it would look great photographed in the snow, something very, very simple. Where we really need your help here is how much we can show without being rude. Mm. on this shot because it can be very very discreet it can be really strong it can be just a beautiful shape mm. but because you know your client better than we do in terms of what we can and cannot show of Lotton's bod <laughs> a bathroom somewhere in Fulham Marie Claire and Boots are working on an advertorial an advert in the magazine's house style the product E45 lotion how far are you actually coming down Pete just to the elbow no you're coming right down because I'm going to have to make up down here because it's like um, so like what? <laughs> this kind of <laughs> <laughs> growth on the back. <laughs> Did you know about it? <laughs> no. Where it's is it? Here. <laughs> you might not actually see. No, no. It's just where you've got your. Oh, bikini. Bikini. Can you put some moisturiser around here? Actually, because I think that's going to show. It's lotiony forty-five, which um, is the one that we'll be doing here. But actually, this is the actually in the shop there. In that one, there is. There's only one per shot. Yeah. And we can't have any, any titties or naughty bits right. at all, so that's going to be that'll probably the last one we do. OK. So with this look, I think it's very important for us to explain to the reader how to make it work for them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it is a shock sometimes when you see a new proportion, you think, that's not right for me. It's like when but Long first came in, everyone exactly. was... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't we thought understand we how to wear it. it. Nobody could walk wearing. in long skirts, but now I won't wear anything else, frankly. Well, there you are. But, you know, that's very flattering for all women, all shapes, yeah, yeah. all sizes. Mm. So I think we should try a new story and we should put this into our new proportions. Mm. So we can explain, you know the story that we're doing, that if you can only afford one yeah. new outfit this season, then these are the looks that are going to update mm. your wardrobe. Yes. It's quite nice to see long mixed with short. Mm. Exactly. And also because it's so important for us to present the fact that we've got... To, People have got to wear these clothes to go to work. Yeah. Yeah. We've all got, got to get on the bus in the morning and um, to feel confident in the way that we dress. So I think these clothes would be very useful. Can you trim the curtains to look tidy? Yeah, sure. My husband's um, sister, they've got a bath like this, is just stuffed in their garden. Get it out. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about that. Yeah, I'm just about it. I'd be there like a shot. Because I live. thought once it gets kind of scratched <laughs> inside, you see. But if you can redo it again, yeah, you just re-enamel them. Yeah, because yeah, this is on. See where it's all scratched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Murray Claire liked to cater for women with an inquiring mind. Today, preparations for an article on who people secretly fancy and who their partners think right. they fancy. Now, first of all, why don't you two change places? You two on the end. This is not the most interesting bit, you know? Right, now the left-hand side looks very good. The right-hand side needs to tighten up a little bit. I thought I'd start with you, if that's all right. Yeah. So would you mind going off somewhere? <laughs> yeah, just, it won't take very long. OK? Brilliant, thanks. I'm going to sit next to you. OK. Right, I want you to look at these eight very handsome men and say which one you think you'd find the most attractive. I just wanted to order some clothes from Autumn Winter for my next shoot. OK. I'm um, going to Norway. Right. And um, outfit number 50 well. yeah. from the pictures you sent over. Mm -hmm. Number 68, yeah. that lovely velvet with the belt. Yeah. Actually, yeah. And number 74. Nice. Makes a change. Yeah. Great. Wonderful. It's time for Murray Claire's ad staff to discuss terms with Ford's PR people in the Isle of Dogs. The key thing for us is to sort of reposition Fiesta. We haven't had anything specific targeted at women for some time. Um, we've done a lot of work the last few months looking at this whole sector and looking at what competitors are doing to specifically target women, not just in press, but in TV. We've had to sort of sell women's magazines as a medium quite strongly mm. to the client and try to sort of push through the argument that you do need special or specific creative work to talk to women through women's magazines. What would think yeah. what we'd do if we show the ads? Yeah. Um, yeah. Be interested to get your reactions yeah. just as potential consumers, because yeah. you're, you're the type of women we're mm. after. I mean, it's Marie Claire readers 
you know, it's career women, it's more mature women, because the, the, the product we're featuring is the Fiesta SI. Okay, first one, one of the key things that, that women are particularly interested in, which is a, it's a major feature now of a lot of models, which is standoff Fiesta, is power assisted steering. Okay, so you've got the first execution there. Now, any girl can squeeze into a smaller size. <laughs> yeah? Six is my kind of guy, actually, because he's got dark, velvety brown eyes. I mean, it doesn't look too scruffy, but it doesn't look overly smart. I don't know, like a smile. It's a very sort of inviting smile, sort of friendly. You feel like you'd have a good night out with him if you went out with him. <laughs> is he free? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not, <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Very well for rent. Okay. This one sounds dull. It's about seat belts, but it's a key feature. The specific, you know, this the copy here would would carry the sort of key message <clears throat> for your <clears throat> greater underarm protection. But you can imagine how that's shot quite nicely, quite stylish. Okay. Well, Thank you very much. Thanks. Should we have a quick look? This one is all about security. Obviously, it's a, a key issue, you know, car theft as well as personal security um, is an issue particularly for women, as it is for, for all groups, but more, even more so for yes. women. Yeah. The visual on this isn't, isn't as we'd want, and the ad will look, look a little bit different, but we found a way to make some men impotent. Yeah. Uh, now, the visual, that looks more like it's quite threatening and it looks more like a housebreaker, but it yeah. would actually be toned down to be uh, less threatening that, but more obviously a, a car thief mm -hmm. and rather than, you know, a sort of personal attack. For planning purposes, so that you know, the target audience that we're trying to hit with this campaign are ABC One women yep. who right. are 25 to 35. Um, but looking at the sort of psychographics also uh, of the, uh, the kind of women we're trying to also talk to are career girls. Um, they are women who are politically aware, liberal, believe that women are as competent as men in the workplace. Um, when they're sort of going out to buy a car, they want something that's quite sophisticated. It's not the sort of younger 18 to 24 year olds of aspirational type of car. It's something a bit more mature and sophisticated than that. So it is Marie Claire territory. Yeah. yeah. Go for her. Number seven. Why? Um, slightly oriental look I find appealing. If I had to choose one, she just stands out slightly. Uh-huh. A bit mysterious. Uh-huh. Mysticism of the East. I've just got, Hi. I've got a choice of three. Oh, How's it going? Wonder. Brilliant. The right time. We've just got Ralph oh, Lauren. <laughs> Splendid. Mm -hmm. I'm Splendid. Just, I'm not sure, because I've got three outfits from Ralph Lauren. And I've also got this I think this one looks more modern. Beautiful tunic. More new. Which, with this underneath. Yeah. I think that, that sums up the collection so well. Yeah. It's a beautiful colour. It's a lovely colour, isn't mm -hmm. it? Um, and then I've got this tunic. And this, which is, I think lovely, which is interesting. This is very new, with the velvet, with the underneath. leather. Yeah. Right. Well, what I think, depending on the balance of the pages, no. if you use, um, if you, you see, use I'm worried one. that if we, it, we might need this. If we, if we find a great lake and we've got the skates we and we want to do a skating props. picture, oh, then no. this is a wonderful one, one for skating. Exactly, and it will move very yes. well. Um, but if we don't do that, then I, I much prefer to use this one. Mm -hmm. And you could always try and shoot a cover with this as well. Yeah. And also this one, because this one's very, again, it looks very modern mm. and it's very new for Ralph Lauren. This will so tie in very well with Hermes as well, the leather. Yes, yeah. Which, yeah. yes. Yeah. OK, we'll do that then. Where, where do you want it? Actually, sort of uh, beyond the shoulder blade. Where she can reach. Where there? She can reach. There. Yeah, there. there. And how much? Midday in Fulham. At last, the shoot's about to begin. No, I'm the official blobber here. When you, that, this is blown yeah. up to, you know, full page size. If that it's blob that. is just little it's music gonna scene, mm. it's going to look pathetic. So we need to get a decent sized blob without it yeah. getting so big it starts dribbling down the yeah. Good, and start moving around, yeah. Good. Graham likes women who are well endowed, and I couldn't tell from any of those photographs because they're all wearing rather loose, baggy shirts. Yeah, I think it was a bit sneaky. It was a bit sneaky. And I knew you wouldn't go for anyone skinny, really skinny, but uh, I did waver over her, didn't I? She's you got did a, a she's bit. She's got a sweet face, and, but I went for the long hair in the end. 
Yeah, she wouldn't even be on my shortlist. No, afraid. really? No. That's very interesting. Well, and and Graham chose uses... the right man for me. Yeah, he Did chose he? number six. <laughs> number six. But he thought his second choice was that, which is exactly... <laughs> You know, I didn't expect yes, this I'm at all, because I thought men had types. Well, I always think that you are attracted to a man initially because of the way he looks, and then when you get to know him, then you might think, well, he's either a prat, or you think, oh, well, he's got good looks and a good personality. If you've got a friend who you get to know, who, which is what happened with me and Graham, Graham was a friend before... What are you trying to say? ...before I <laughs> fancied him, if you like. Um, I mean, when I got to know Graham, I then sort of thought, well, he's not bad-looking either, actually. So how many cases are we going to have all together now? Well, we've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Oh, Maybe bad. nine. The fashion team sets out for Lapland. Suitcases stuffed with Ralph Lauren. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have started the uh, descent of Norge. In one week in the Norwegian snow, they have to come up with 24 pages of winter fashion with a model and photographer they've never met. Hi, Joe. How are you? Nice to meet you. The team greet photographer Christophe Jouanet, just in from New York. This is Ruby. Right, here's the pretty girl coming. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Very well. Hello, Basta. It's the first time he's met the top Polish model, Basha. Yeah, we're going to uh, chase the reindeer, see? <laughs> you arrived directly from uh, where, Paris? I arrived directly from Paris, yes. Paris. Where did you come from? Like New York. New York. Yeah, yes. oh. Did you have a nice flight? <laughs> no, well, you know. I think these are more attractive than this because her hair's rather severe, don't you think? Definitely, yeah. On yeah. that shot, and then here she looks very pretty. But I just think she's um, not covered up enough. It doesn't look very Christmassy and very no, festive. It certainly doesn't, no. And we want something more spectacular for the December issue. Absolutely. Absolutely. Karasjok, capital of Lapland. Disagreements before the shoot for the Christmas spectacular. For me, the clothes are not fantasy enough to put a crown and they are enough fantasy to stick out in the environment because, you know, nobody's going to get dressed like this to go in the middle of the mountain. So that's the fantasy of it. Now, to put a crown... It's a fantasy. It's not fantasy enough. It would have to be, she would have to be, for me, fantasy is uh, a Snow White, uh, Walt Disney, uh, <laughs> the Queen of uh, Norway, uh, you know. <laughs> but now it's in between. I mean, you put the Hermes uh, outfit with the crown and it just doesn't work. She looks like an army woman. Yeah, but it's, it can't all have crowns. It can't all look yes, the same. Yes, it, it can't. But then, you know, it, there is so much disparity between the outfit, which, uh, besides, I love the clothes. I think it's, it's, they're fantastic. They're wonderful. But, you know, if we go from one picture where she has a crown and, thing, and then the other picture where she looks more like a army woman, you know, with the, uh, the whip almost and the, 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 yeah. the, the, the riding horses things, that's the, there's not going to be any continuity in the story. Where, where the, for me, the continuity is that all the outfit they're they're not really uh, in the on f the fantasy side, but on the other hand, they are. Basher is sidelined, waiting for a decision. Also, I don't we think have a lot of outfits here. We have 14 outfits, and we only have 10 to shoot. The only problem we've got is if we're out there all day with no electricity or anything, we're going to have to find something that we can change. Look how many times right, she's slightly. putting things over. And everything you that she's got. You don't have this little uh, machine that works on uh, no, no, not a gas, gas. one. Everything no. is possible. Huh? Not a gas <laughs> one. No? No. How come? Because I don't do shoots like this every day in tents, that's why. <laughs> Cover is stuck because we've got a hell of a lot to get through. Yeah. OK. Great. Thank you. Right, we're doing the plan for the next issue. So if we start with features, and you could just run through everything. Right. Okay, now we've got the reportage on um, the Indians. Yeah. yeah, the copy's in. Um, it's 
interviews with women who live on Lake Titicaca. You know the pictures, wonderful pictures of women who wear bowler hats. It's those women, they kind of it's barely the ever set foot yeah. on dry land. It's very visual, isn't it, this piece? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, OK. Mm -hmm. So that will be spread yeah. through the flat plan. Um, yeah. Now, the next one is a, an investigation. Sun City Grammys. <laughs> yeah, that's that's due in on Monday. Yeah. Louisa mm, just Monday. came back from Florida yesterday, and it went really well. Did it go well? Yeah, yeah. Good. really good. well. She's got oh, some fantastic. Show. Yeah. yeah fantastic. <laughs> really good. It went. It was completely as she was hoping it would be. It's a community. It's a city, city. design built yeah. purely for old people. people, and so it's. It's got everything you could possibly want, like golf courses, jacuzzis. I mean, it's that kind of giant hotel kind of area. And everybody's well, over what age? And everybody's again, got um, to be over 65, yeah, 70 65 or something. 65, 70. And you but just stay there for as long as you want. It's home. very positive. Mm, yeah. Everyone is thoroughly enjoying mm, themselves. Mm, mm. Um, a great time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Adam worked out yeah. really well. They hadn't met before. Oh, and um, he was. Excellent. Really nice, yeah, yeah, good. It's because that's good sometimes team. difficult when the, the writer mm. and the photographer come from completely different parts mm. of the world, yeah. and mm. you send them together to cover a story, mm. Mm. and There's you don't. No chemistry. No chemistry. Mm. It would be very, very difficult. We've been very fortunate in the past. Yeah. I don't mind to have the hair up. It's not what mm. I'm saying. I don't mind to have right. hair, but there is hair up and hair up. There is hair do and yeah. there is hair what, up. <clears throat> what I explained earlier on was when I did this, it was just a tryout, just shape wise. It was no, it was just for texture really. No, 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 I understand yeah. that. I'm, I'm not talking about specific. I just say I which we direction we take. Because yeah. if we take the direction of putting hairdo and crowning the hair, that's one style. And yeah. we have to stick to it for the 10th yeah. page. Yeah. yeah. Or we go to hair that are more simple, more, <clears throat> you know... Down. It's, no, it's... it's, it's uh, are we going towards a real queen hairdo kind of a hair, you know, like you just did, yeah. which is one option, or are we keeping the hair more simple, more, where, but simple, they can be up, but up like you just did here, you know? Right, up I mean, like I just did you know, here, just quite simple, I mean, but uh, we can do it without the binding, so it's not, you know, so it's less obvious. Well, I mean, this, then, this was really teased, or I don't know. Yeah, you but know. that's what I explained to you earlier on. It's not the, what I did there. Isn't I was just doing shape, right. just to show you the shape. Right. We have to find one particular type of texture of hair that, that will carry through. Yeah. So it's either we do it straight I and back just, and clean. And so that's really simple. So. <laughs> I mean, for me personally, I think it'd be easy to start off with it curly so that we can Careful sort of work, got, um, work with it. You don't agree, or do you? No, I, I, I'm just trying to pick... It's not, yeah, it's not even the texture. Um, let's see, now you do that one. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, I know if it's if I work with it and it's got some sort of texture, some sort of wave or curl in it, I can change it and make it look vaguely different for like eight, ten pictures. But if it's straight, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm worried about this intro for this piece because mm -hmm. I don't think it's explaining what the article's about. Right, I think it's a bit ambiguous. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what we've got is, in Pakistan, women who have been raped frequently in prison for having sex outside marriage. So... Now, you see, I think that sounds like um, sex outside marriage. It sounds like they're all married. Mm, and in fact, it's nothing, to do, it's nothing to do with yeah. marriage. It's just the fact that they get accused of adultery mm -hmm. if they're raped. If the man is, isn't um, found guilty. Exactly, right. exactly. And so then they're put into prison for adultery. So we need to make that more clear, don't we? Right. Can I drive? I can drive. No. Nah. The Lapland shoot is on a mountaintop, temperature minus three. Oh, I cannot feel my feet. They're like a piece of wool. Well, these ones don't work. What's happening? Well, I just thought since this, was, this one's going. I'm going to kick their ass. Fucking no battery anymore. Are you OK, Basha? I cannot feel my ears. My ear right now is stuck. 
She's so cold as well. Yeah, just... She's, she's being very brave. <laughs> survival. This is survival. The only shelter, a topless teepee provided by the locals, Sami tribespeople. Every other aspect of this has a union. We don't have a union. There's no one we can write to and say, can you get us out of this? The conditions are absolutely inhumane. All I want, all I want is a coffee break. <laughs> yeah. All I want, exactly. Tell that to those guys doing commercials when they start moaning. Just go through what your plans are for the rest of this year, and if you're gonna, if you can, let me into any of the secrets for next year. Because all too often we come in and sell to you all the time, and I think publishers generally don't spend enough time saying, well, what exactly are you doing, mm -hmm. so that we can actually help you. We're launching Pretty Girl Air, which is going to be available in just five stores nationwide. It's quite new because it's the first fragrance for children with a perfume house signature. Um, in France, it's actually in all our 1,200 outlets, because in France there's a, a history of using cologne products on babies, I, mean, I think in all Mediterranean countries. Yeah, how do you feel about launching that here, though? Because it's had a bit of bad press, hasn't it? Not, not this particular fragrance, but the whole aspect of... It's something very same. new. I think yeah. it applies to all the, the northern European countries, where we're not so used to using... Um, uh, colognes uh -huh. in the same way as, uh, as a hotter Mediterranean climate. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a variation on a classic eau de cologne, but it has slightly floral hearts. It has a lot of mimosa in it, which makes it very, very soft and powdery. And it exists in one so version. Like, tal like talcum powder. Very talcum yeah. And the story behind it is lovely, just as to how we came to make such a fragrance. The Archbishop of Versailles actually asked Jean Paul Guerlain to make a fragrance for the anointing oil used at Versailles. Oh, really? And when he had finished that project, he had recently become a grandfather. And so it inspired him to make a fragrance, to continue the project and make a fragrance for children. Because children were very close to him. Well, he's usually inspired by someone, but it's usually women in this case. Well, it's quite different. Changes his grandfather. Perhaps he's changing. <laughs> Damn, it's cold and difficult. I mean, no one's prepared for this sort of work with it. <laughs> We're going to uh, put the two uh, slate over there. Woo -hoo. Darling, come out of your nest. I'm here. Don't be scared. This is a lovely day. <laughs> Most excellent. Dude. Beautiful. La, 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 la. We're cruising now. Absolutely lovely, I must say. You look like a million rupiah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's all going wrong. Oh, dear. Yeah. Lipstick for us has always been very important. I don't know if you know it, but we were the first company in our list of innovations we were the first company to make lipstick in a tube uh, oh. and so this sort of is part of our our heritage um, we've been making lipstick since the end of last century but we're the very first company to put them into a wind-up mechanism what's it called in french kiss 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 kiss, kiss, kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same in French as in English. An, yeah. an international word. I know what you're thinking, but I'm yes, not I going know. to translate it. The, the, the French word, as you would know, the French word for kiss is very near to another word, which has a completely yeah. different meaning. And I yeah. once made the mistake of saying this. And the look on this person's face was, oh, God, and I've said the wrong word. Very forward. Um. <laughs> OK, are we ready? Let's go. Girl. OK, we're ready. You're in the front, the camera is there. Uh -huh. And you're just uh, leading the, the troop of Sami people. I'm leading. You're leading. You're going to walk your head. All right. All right. Most excellent. Yeah, don't lie down too early. Wait for me. <laughs> That's the lazy bastard. This is diabolical. How are we going to do 10 pages? 
I want you to be very close together. Okay. The, the Sami people have to be together, more close. If you were a I would move in right away. Man, these are difficult conditions. But we will prevail. <laughs> okay, marvelous. Let's go. Chin down. Yeah, no more. All right, we're gonna go back there. Damn, I have no more battery. Give me the battery. Battery are dead, my friend, already. In the pocket, the battery. I keep telling you that since yesterday. You're dead. You know? That's not good. I told you this morning, you have to put the bar in your... It's the priority. So this is the heading we're going with? Yes. Yeah, great. So we need to explain who she is, really. Exactly. So we need to say that she runs the Centre for Torture Victims and that she's dedicated her life to helping people. Exactly. I think she's seen, because it's a woman who changed the world, she's yeah. seen as someone who's fought hard for change and got it. Yeah. Um, and John McCarthy really believes in her Yeah, I think it'd be quite work. interesting to put something in about her background, about going to Auschwitz or Belsen, yes. where she went to help people after the war. Yeah. Because we've got quite a lot of room to say that, which I think would be quite good. Absolutely. To get the reader involved. Yeah. It's like a court jester in that. He looks great, but I think, <laughs> he's just fallen over. <laughs> Give me the shot of the year. Yes, all right. Ha ha ha! Woo! No, don't cross your arms. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. That's it. Exactly what I want. Perfect. What's happening? You something hurts? Your feet? Okay, you have to forget it for today. We can't shoot. Just she's dead. Uh, just doesn't work. Joe, her feet are really hurt now. Really well. You did. You did really well. Brilliant. Okay, so you know what? Let us sit down and then we'll take it. Tell me what happened to my feet. Sorry, she, my little darling. Huh? Who's gonna take a nice sauna when she go back? That's what I just said. A nice little sauna. Father Christmas. <laughs> You survived this one. You remember when your grandmother, you talked to your kid, I say, once I went to north of Norway with an asshole photographer. Who <laughs> <laughs> drive me crazy all day. When Basia has no more humor, it's because she's very tired. She's very cold. <laughs> all right. You did a good job, guys. Beautiful. That one's pretty. Yes, it's nice. Don't like no. that one. Arms up. That's oh, that one. She looks. She looks too worried. Yeah. I'm sure she is as well. In the under the those conditions. I, I like this one. Yeah. She's more purposeful. Yeah. Oh no, that one. Definitely that one. She's a woman with a mission there. Yeah. So I think the one where she's striding across the snow. Yeah. yeah. Great. If we can use that, if you yeah. can get it to crop, because it's so nice to see the Try proportion. Try and keep the bottom of the shirt in. Yeah. We yeah. so want to show the readers the clothes and what they look like and why we've chosen them. That. That's yes. such a beautiful image, it. isn't it? Yeah. We could use that as our Christmas card. Right, I thought we should have a look through the magazine and see what we think. Right, let's see what we've got. A few weeks before it hits the newsstands, a pay stuff of the December issue arrives on Glenda Bailey's desk. Yeah, and of course, let's start with this. Oh, oh that's good, isn't it? Mm. I think the picture, oh, yeah, yeah, the photos of the couples are really Lovely. good. Mm. And then um, this is John McCarthy. That was a terrible cover line to do, though, wasn't it? Yeah, because we were making so many suggestions, mm. trying to explain what the piece was about. We came up with um, some rather strange ideas John at first. 
other women. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> like poor. It sounded like Jill Morrell, or, or he got another woman other than that, and we were very concerned about it being misleading. And so we worked for hours trying to get that right. And of course, when you've got, only got 13 characters per line, mm. such a small space, it's very difficult to explain that, isn't it? Mm. And then, of course, on to your fashion job, yeah. your life's work. Uh -huh. Staff revel briefly in their achievement before they get back to the hunt for more fashion, more awards and more readers. All your hard work. You did so work. well. Yeah, it's really never know how cold she was. But, it, but it's <laughs> good, isn't great. it, to, uh, to have, uh, for this time of year, for the Christmas issue, wow. it's nice to have pictures where you just look and dream, yeah. because the balance of the magazine, these are those areas where you just want to dream in aspirational fashion and designer clothes, mm -hmm. and then we highlight also what we're renowned for, our 101 ideas and the best value mm -hmm. for money. Mm. It's a great Christmas package, special. isn't it, for yeah. December? Yeah. And it just reminds me as well, one mistake we have made is, of course, we've, put, we've kept our winner of 11 awards, and I think everybody knows yeah. that now. And what we should have done is, as seen on TV... <laughs> <laughs>